series, I would want to share on the turning away of the family captivity. Psalm 126 is going to be our direct scripture towards this message on the turning away of the family captivity. The Bible says this, and um, if you're writing, it's important you do it quickly. Then you look up, we flow with the scriptures to make us ready for a strong prayer. Where today we will deal with five things in our families. And coming Saturday, we are going to deal with five more. I added one, they became ten. So there will be five today and five Saturday morning. Therefore, I ask us to open our hearts as we share on the turning away of the family captivity. The Bible says, when the Lord brought the captivity of Zion, we were like those who dream. I want to announce and say, the Lord is turning away the captivity of the families and it will be such a deep and powerful reality that many of us are going to think like we are dreaming. When you see the transformation in your brother, the transformation in your parents, the transformation in your uncles and aunties, how poverty has been overturned, it is going to be like the children of Israel when they were to leave Babylon and the announcement came, O oh, ye children of Israel, you are headed back to Zion. The Bible says it was like they were dreaming about that good news. And I want to announce and say that God is ready to bless our families. Can I hear amen? God is ready to overturn the captivity. God is ready to overturn diseases. God is ready to overturn all the oppression in the family. These people were in bondage for 870 good years. Sorry, not 80. 70 years. And when the news of deliverance came, it was like they were in a dream. I decree by the word of the Lord, may the Lord change the story in your family. May the debts be paid until it will be like a dream. May the business have a breakthrough until it will be like a dream. May your son or daughter change until it is going to be like a dream. May your mother be touched and your father that it will be like a dream. Can somebody say amen? I therefore lift up my right hand as you lift up your right hand and say, Today we are entering into an agreement, into a joint agreement that the story is changing back at home. Can somebody shout a good amen? Whatever defeated them shall not defeat us. Poverty must change. Houses must change. You must build one after this service. Why not? The Lord is going to change your story. When the news came, it is like they were dreaming. Then the next verse says, when the news came, their mouth was filled with laughter. This one, you can write or not write, but one of the indications that God has remembered your family is that sadness is replaced by laughter. That is the first blessing and sign that God has remembered your family. In case you are putting it down, when captivity is broken in a family, sadness is replaced with laughter. I declare whatever makes you sad, is it your son, is it your daughter, is it this, is it the other, I announce it is changing into a laughter in Jesus' name. May there be a laughter after this service. Hey, can I hear prophetic people say amen? amen? There shall be a laughter. These guys were not laughing for 70 years. 
If you want to know how it was, the Bible says by the rivers of Babylon, they sat there, they were weeping, they were crying, they needed help. And the captors were saying, can you sing for us the songs of Zion here in Babylon? And they could ask a question, how can we sing the song of Zion in Babylon when we are still in captivity? There was no laughter in Babylon. I declare, whatever makes you sad at home, whatever makes you to return with acidity or blood sugar or blood pressure, may there be laughter in Jesus' name. Hey, can I hear us say amen? That is going to be the story from today. Raise your faith. Raise your faith. I also have a few things I want God to change from sadness to laughter. One of them is a spirit of drunkenness at home. It has brought a sadness within my mother's lineage. All my uncles, I can guess by now, Wame Marisa Vibarua, they are drunk, and one of them who died self contained, that death touched me. He died, no wife, no children. He died when they were fighting drunk and this man hit him. He fell on a rock with his head and that was his end. This man was so hardworking. He could finish Kibarua, buy this packet of 1 kg maize flour, cook it. And because of the desire for alcohol, he would eat that unga or that ugali with the two beef chili cubes. And a chemsha maji kikombe moja. And I wake up beef chili cubes and billy. That is going to be the stew so that he can drink the rest of the money. He died self-contained with the whole of his house, the whole of his future, the whole of this died drunk. And I know the other uncles are there waiting to disturb my grandmother. They all knock the gate in the evening demanding food from my grandmother. I declare today in the name of Jesus. Because some of us are still saying yes. But from this level. This one requires you stir your spirit. Get mad at the devil. That is destroying your family. I declare. May the sadness in your family be replaced with altar. With laughter I mean. Let it be replaced with laughter. The sadness of deaths. And bills and Poverty and disease, we declare it is changing in Jesus' name. Our tongues were filled with singing. The second sign that captivity has broken in a family is that songs come back. Because what do you sing when you are bound? Songs begin to come back. I declare, may we sing again in Jesus' name. May we sing all songs in the scriptures regarding our family. How many of us know you cannot sing when you are sad? You cannot sing when you are depressed. And when you try to sing, you only sing. Then you just discover. I declare may there be a song in Jesus' name. Yes. How do you feel when a debt that has been oppressing you have been paid? You feel like dancing. You feel like dancing. What do you feel when your son says they want to know the Lord? You feel like dancing. What do you feel when all your daughters, the only thing they drink is Fanta. They don't drink those things in the house. Sunday afternoon, Najua Dio Analewa Kabisa. Because they have been working Monday to Friday. May the Lord restore songs. Cancer has swallowed away songs at homes. And today in this anointing and holy communion, we silence cancer in Jesus' name. Oh, if you are not mad at cancer, I am very mad. Cancer of the bones, we say no. Can I hear you say no? Cancel of the breast, we say what? No. Cancel of the prostrate men, we say no. Cancel of the uterus. 
and of the and of the cervix we say no because god must bring singing back at home i have seen families sell everything because of cancer how i pray today that god will preserve us and the reason you need to say a better amen is because now you may not know what is exactly happening in your body as we talk but we want to declare if there is anything even if it is one cell one like a dot that is trying to form in your body we silence it in jesus name we cancel it in the name of the lord we declare that there is a turning away of captivity and we shall be great in the Lord in Jesus name yes. one of the friends wrote on Facebook and said that they have traveled to India last week the number of Kenyans in India for cancer treatment it is so high and you know the producers of food I mean the manufacturers and those that do this they don't care what they are giving to Kenyans whether it is stale, whether it is expired, they would rather put a new date on something than throwing it away. Today we are entering a covenant with the Lord that we shall be preserved in Jesus' name. There shall be singing back at home. Lift up your head and say, there shall be laughter. There shall be singing. Because I will be blessed of the Lord. Number three, the Bible says, as we rush days, they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The third sign of captivity has broken is that your neighbors begin to testify. The Lord has done great things. The neighbors begin to testify. Today, as we come to this anointing service, I declare the neighbors will testify of your family. Can somebody say amen? Because where there was a mad house, Pastor Hope, there will be a permanent house. Where there were jiggers, there will not be jiggers anymore. Where there was no fence, it is now going to be a beautiful fence. Where there was no gate, there will be a gate. And where people were wondering whether to go to a toilet or not because they are fearing to sink. Wangapi wanakumbuka hizo cho? Unaijaribu hivi kabla uingie. Lakini zingine unaangalia, unasema wacha nifunge mpaka niede nyumba. May there be a replacement in Jesus' name. We announce there will be a testimony in Jesus' name. And those who desire that people may suffer, die, and go through pains, we declare whether they are our blood brothers or sisters, their wish is cancelled in Jesus' name. Amen. It is cancelled in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. There shall be a testimony. Four, verse three. Let's hurry up, media team. Let's go to the next. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad. Four, when the captivity broke, this is happening. He is praying, bring back our captivity, O Lord, as the streams of the south. Five, the Bible says, those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. Now, the other sign, number four, that captivity has broken is that you begin to harvest with joy. You were sowing in tears. Now you are reaping in joy. I declare we shall reap in joy in Jesus' name. Where is Victor? Come here. We are going to reap in joy in the name of the Lord. When you reap a job, a business, a connection, a visa, another level, when you reap in joy, for sure they said, those who sow in tears, how many of you know we have cried for many years for our families? Some of you I know you don't sleep. Some of you I know have fought and fought and fought. You listen to stories that are amazing. One lady that I told to walk out of her house, seated here, beaten by the husband. 
you are beaten until they cut the hair off. Sasa Susan, what would make a person avumilia mpaka nywele yote inakatwa unalaaniwa ikikatwa? Hii ndio anapendanga nataka kuimaliza yote. Ayasa, what are you doing there? Akaniambia na cha ukweli nilipokaa tu hivi sikuwa na nywele yoyote. Alikuwa amemaliza yote. I told her this needs to end. There must be peace back in our families. And we want to announce and say if your marriage is threatening your life walk away. Na hii mkitaka kukata kwa kukata mweke kwa TikTok it's still okay. The other day niliona walikata ya nyao stadium they are trying to dirty our names there. So, I am saying this. You cannot stay there until you die. Somebody who has threatened you with a knife will drive it to your chest another day. Will drive it another day. So, may the Lord bring back our captivity in the name of Jesus. And those who sow in tears, let them reap in joy. We declare there is a reaping of jobs. Can somebody say amen? amen? Let there be a release of jobs in the name of the Lord. Amen. Is reaping not the same as harvesting? It is the same. May there be business capital in the name of the Lord. May there be a visa in the name of the Lord. May that debt be paid in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout and say, There shall be reaping with joy. Upon my life and upon my family. Can somebody say amen? amen? And I want to declare you shall become better than the name you carry. You see, one of these brothers, my last born brothers, are triplets. They are born three, 20th July 1989. Now, this one that struggles with alcohol. The same uncle, I'm telling you, hit my mother's, my grandmother's house so hard. Asking he, how our Murugi, what have you cooked? It's called the same name as this of one of our brothers. That one of our brothers has survived because of my prayers. I have searched for him everywhere in clubs. I have called police stations. We had even begun thinking of uh, calling out mortuaries looking for him. His head has almost been split twice, driving almost at 100 kilometers and they cannot see a roundabout. They cannot see a roundabout. They hit on it and they're in Kenyatta the next weeks. He has been pulled out of the river I don't know how many times. And it is a, a young boy that has seen a drunk man has fallen into the river. I mean, it's, it's been so challenging. But I keep prophesying to him and declaring there will be a harvest of joy in Jesus' name. And wherever he is and other brothers and sisters, we send a word of deliverance. We send a word of victory. We send a word of power in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The other day he told me he tried to jump on a mat headed to Rungai drunk. It almost ran over his head. He missed it by an inch. He has been saved in near death so many times. But I know why. There is somebody praying for him. I pray today may this grace touch everybody around us in Jesus name. May it touch everybody around us in Jesus name. And then number six and finally before we stand, he who continually goes forth weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. One of the signs that captivity is broken is the end of weeping in our families. I pray that the end of weeping is gonna arrive in Jesus' mighty name. And we send the word of power and grace in Jesus' name. Somebody say there will be an end of weeping. Aha, louder, there will be an end of weeping. 
in my family. In Jesus' mighty name. I want us to be ready for prayer right now. Don't worry about giving. We will do a burnt offering towards the end of it all. We want to declare these things. Write them on one screen. One screen. We want to declare that poverty and lack is ending by this anointing and by this communion in Jesus' name. We want to declare, number two, that disease and infirmity are ending in our families in Jesus' name. Write them on one screen. Number three, we want to declare the rise and fall is being defeated in our families in Jesus' name. Rise and somebody is great today and then they are beggars tomorrow. We reject it in Jesus' name. We want to declare number four as we stand for prayer. Because Nataku Kupatia Daika Kidongo, you release that strong prayer. Those of you of Tattoo Chapel know how we pray. You declare lack and poverty is bound, disease and infirmity, rise and fall, that it is broken. And then addictions, number four, addictions. Addictions. And number five, delay, delay, delay. As we do this prayer, Vicky, get yourself ready. I see the hand of God upon you. There's a hand of God upon you, yes. Yes, continue getting ready. We'll call you at some point. In the name of Jesus Christ, I just saw a hand upon you uh, that is going to break this um, thing we are talking about, unnecessary delay. Unnecessary delay in the name of Jesus is breaking by the Lord's power. Poverty, Disease and infirmity, rise and fall. Rise and fall was number three. And number four, addictions. Are you now number five? Yeah? You already have five. Wonderful. I want us to stand. Nataka tufanya ide ombi. Juatuna muda murefu. Online church, I want you to join in this prayer. Then I'm going to release you shortly. Um, in the Lord and the Lord will bless you. I want you to lift up your two hands up high. Oh, you are right hand of warfare and I want you to begin binding those things. They are already on the screen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, come on, come on, somebody go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, 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 go ahead. We are entering into a new beginning as we wind up the service. We are declaring that poverty, poverty and lack in the mighty name of Jesus. Our God and our Father, by the power of your spirit, by the power of your anointing, we declare that poverty and lack is ending in our families. Oh, Resheta Rababo Sunday in the mighty name of Jesus. Poverty and lack, we declare it is broken in our families today. Marese Rika Bababo Sanda, Roka Poshande, disease and infirmity, we declare it is broken. It is broken, it is broken by the power of the Spirit of God. Our God and our Father, let your grace, let your power, God. Yes, by the power of the Word of God, we declare today disease and infirmity. It is broken today. The rise and fall. It is broken today. Oh, Rakabo Sunday. Rosa Rabababos. The rise and fall. We refuse it now. We refuse it now. By the power of the anointing. Rosa Kata. Rese Tarabo. Oh, God Almighty. God Almighty. We declare by your Lord. That addictions are breaking us. Addictions are breaking us. We declare delay. Delay is broken. Delay is broken. 
Delay is broken. Delay is broken. Delay is broken. Out of all eyes. Out of all eyes. Out of all eyes. Out of all eyes. For the anointing, come forward two rows by two rows, two rows by two rows. Come forward, come forward. Yes, continue praying, continue praying. Nasema tuendele kuomba, tuendele kuomba. When you arrive here, just come forward, come forward, and surrender. Push them forward. Mareka baba busande. Let's have more. Let's have more coming. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Want to ask Pastor Florence and the Evangelist Evans to come. And Pastor Hope, where you? Father, I anoint these hands as they anoint others. I declare breakthrough. I declare power. I declare anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want to ask that the other row, hiyo ingine inagoja ikue ashes. Wale wengine wanagoja wanatokezea wanakuwa ashes. Let's listen. Let's listen. Let's listen. Wale ambao wanagoja wanakuwa ashes. So please, like you who are waiting, form a buffer zone, form a line, form a line over those. And let prayers continue. Let prayers continue. In the name of Jesus, we are all anointed. I want to send the ministers to you. And online church, online church, I pray for you right now. As I declare, may every stronghold be broken. I declare to the online church, may poverty and lack be broken in your family. Disease and infirmity, rise and fall syndrome. I cancel it upon your life and all the unnecessary delays and addictions I command them to be broken. Thank you, online church. Thank you, online church. The Lord bless you. The Lord do you good. In Jesus' name. See you on Sunday. The Lord bless you.